in the, the dreaded clerk typist school, uh, where they sent all of us really tough guys. Um, I, I must tell you, by the way, that uh, I was the honor graduate of my class at the clerk typist school in the summer of 1960. Thank you very much. I, I have not included that in my CV, but I think perhaps I should. <laughs> I could type like a demon. And that was the problem, because about five of us could have passed the final exam of typing on the first day. We knew how to type. The Army, of course, doesn't care about that. They, they say, you are here to learn to type whether you already know how or not. And so. I almost lost my mind. Learning to type the first time is bad enough. Learning it again will kill you. So one day, I made up the words to this song on the Army's typewriter. And it went, it went zip when it moved and pop when it stopped, Brr when it stood still. I never knew just what it was. I guess I never you would ask yourself, why did I not write a violent, anti-war, anti-military diet? I have no idea. Maybe I was plumbing the emotional depths of that classroom or something. But anyhow, the Chad Mitchell Trio had a nice hit record with it years later. And we're going to sing it tonight for all the kids who are here and all the kids who grew up. When I was just a wee little lad, full of health and joy, my father homeward came one night, gave to me a toy. A wonder to behold it was, with many colors bright. And the moment I laid eyes on it, it became my heart's delight. It went zip when it moved, pop when it stopped, whirr when it stood still. I never knew just what it was. And I guess I never will The first time that I picked it up I had a big surprise For right on its bottom were two big buttons That looked like big green eyes I first pushed one, then the other Then I twisted its lid And when I sat it down again This is what it did It went zip when it moved Bop when it stopped when it stood still, I never knew just what it was. I guess I never knew. It first marched left, then marched right, then marched under a chair. And when I looked where it had gone, it wasn't even there. I started to cry, and my daddy laughed, for he knew that I would find. When it turned around, a marvelous toy chugging from behind. Stop when it stood still. I never knew just what it was, and guess I never will. The years have gone by too quickly, it seems. I have my own little boy. And yesterday I gave to him a marvelous little toy. His eyes nearly popped right out of his head. He gave a squeal of glee. Neither one of us knows just what it is, but he loves it just like me. It still goes in when it moves, but when it stops, when it stands still. I never knew just what it was. I never will.